Namaste. Uh, welcome back to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners. In this video, let us see how to register stock mixtures required. So in this software, uh, previously we have registered all the pure components required for the simulation. To register stock mixture, again, we need to go to the task menu. Under the task menu, you can notice there is something called as stock mixture. Same thing, we can go to register stock mixture. When you select this particular uh, option, you can notice this dialog box appears. As I already told, air by default is registered as one of the stock mixture. That is the reason nitrogen and oxygen is by default registered as pure component. When I click on view properties, you can notice that composition under the composition nitrogen and oxygen is available here. And also you can notice one more thing previously what are all the uh, pure components we have registered that is also available under this particular box. Now uh, we need to register 85% uh, phosphoric acid as a stock mixture and also 95% ethanol as a stock mixture. Let us see is this ethanol is available. You can notice here there are, there are uh, by default some stock mixtures are registered in the databases. If you want, you can utilize this particular stock mixtures. If it is not available in this particular one, for example, you can notice here H3PO4 20% is available, 50% is available, 98% is available and also ethyl alcohol which is available as 10%, 50%. None of these stock mixtures are required for the simulation. So we need to add a new stock mixture. To do, uh, register the same, again, you can notice the magic wand symbol. You can click magic wand symbol here and add the name of the stock mixture. For example, I'll add 95% ethanol. Ethanol. So you can add company name, local name, if stock mix. For example, some buffers are available. They are also again stock mixture, mixture of multiple components. If you are purchased from some company that will give you the company ID, local name, on trade name for all these things, you can add them. And also you can notice that default property values means whatever the properties are calculated for the stock mixtures will be initialized to zero or copy from the another stock mixture if you don't want to initialize it from the zero if you know that your stock mixture is similar to the some stock mixture available in this particular database you can copy the properties from there if not you can initialize it to zero and later you can change those particular properties in this case i'll try to select initialize it to zero and click ok and also I'll register one more stock mixture that is 85% phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid as one of the stock, another stock mixture. Click OK. Now I will edit it. I will edit this particular one. And if you can notice, there is an option called as composition. Under the composition, so we need to add the which are all the ingredients part of the stock mixture and what percentage they are available. In this case, it is phosphoric acid and water is there. So I can notice one more thing when I start adding the components. First component it shows 100%, second end component it shows 0%. So I need to change it to 85%, again I need to change it to 15%. And this is weight by weight based on mass percentage. If it is small percent, you can choose. In this problem statement it is not mentioned. So I assume that it is mass basis. So you can also choose the mole basis. And here in the bottom you can notice the density assume a liquid or solid density model so that is a plus bt temperature dependent and we if you want to assume something we need to set by the user so if you know that a for the mixture b for the mixture you can fed it to this particular uh, tabs automatically it will calculate the density of the mixture if not you can also ask the software to calculate this a and b value so how to do that you just click on this update a and b you can notice that now it has appeared a value is appeared b value appear, appeared how it came so it it, it came uh, by or it it appears by the calculation uh, you can notice here the phosphoric acid and water have been registered as a pure component. These pure components are also having AB values, right? AB values are available. So based upon this AB values for the mixtures, automatically this AB is calculated and updated here. So you have an option of setting by default. For example, in a case where, I, for example, acetic anhyd aspirin and salicylic acid is newly registered compound. In this case, you have left out with water properties. Definitely the, the whatever the density uh, A and B calculated uh, for a density calculation is wrong because that is not 
uh, the density of salicylic acid or aspirin it has considered it has the water properties which is considered so in that case if you know the mixture a and b you can add it here if the density values of your components are correct then definitely the mixture density will also be correctly calculated if it is a gaseous component you can use the ideal gas law and calculate the density model so this is for uh, liquid or solid this is for gaseous model click ok and the next one i will edit the ethanol properties here composition so i need the ethyl alcohol is one component and water is con another component ethanol is 95 percent and water is 5 percent and click ok so uh, we have registered these two required stock mixture one more important thing i would like to say for example if you select here ethyl alcohol when you go to composition see here I, as i already told before registering stock mixtures we need to register pure components in case if you have not registered the pure component do we need to close all these things and go back to register the pure components tab not necessary here also there is an option pure components you can notice here this from registered is uh, highlighted or selected that is the reason re selected registered ones are appearing here if i click on from the database so what are all the pure components available in the database gets added here in this a list will be appearing here you can notice that whichever component pure component is required you can add it uh, select it and you can register the stock mixture but one thing you remember so the component which are not available uh, in the super pro database definitely they are not available here because they are not part of super pro database you need to go back to the pure components tab and you have to register those new components which are not available in the database and then you have to come back and register as the stock mixture so we need to understand so some uh, values are by default calculated but you should uh, carefully understand whether those calculated values are real or it is just wrongly calculated values i hope you understood how to register a stock mixture as per the given problem statement in the next video uh, let us see how to develop process flow diagram and initialize the streams and operations thank you